Today's video is going to be about moving the boat on a trailer. And I don't mean taking the boat off and on a trailer. It's more about moving the boat back to make it easier to launch and to retrieve. This trailer is a bit short for this boat. I think it's ideal for maybe a 16-foot boat, maybe a 15-foot boat. Uh, this is an 18-foot boat. Quite frankly, it's difficult to get it off the trailer when you're launching it. You have to put the truck back probably so the rear wheel's three or four foot in the water, which seems kind of excessive. You almost, you almost launch in the truck. In any event, let's go ahead and get through with this video and uh, I'll show you how we got this done. But before we do that, hit the subscribe button, mash the bell, and you'll get notifications of when I put a video up in the future. All right, so we already had lifted the boat off the bunks and you can see how we did that in this video right here. The boat's been sitting on cribs since late last year. We've got a ton of work done on it, got the bottom painted for the most part, almost all of it. And uh, we're at a point where we want to put it back on the bunks. The bunks have already been removed, so let's go on to the next step where we calculate what the length of the new bunks is going to be. I've already got these 10 foot 2 by 6s um, and you'll see they'll actually have a slight, uh, slight warp on it, which is fine because I'm going to try to work that to my advantage. Alright, so I've got one of the old bunks <clears throat> here on the bed of the truck. Uh, let me pan the camera in so you can see what I'm doing. So I've already removed <clears throat> this um, bunk bracket. I'm just going to reuse these. They're galvanized, but they're, they're not in terrible condition. Now these were secured with bolts and T-nuts. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to use lag bolts. I'll be using a 3 8 by inch and a quarter lag bolt, which is pretty standard for um, uh, 2 by 6 bunks. And what I have to do is go ahead and get this off, which is proven to be a pain in the butt. Uh, these things are kind of welded on there. They might come up, might not. That was a pain in the butt, and I'll repeat that with the other one, but I'm going to do some inside measurements first, um, just so I have a good idea of uh, bracket to bracket, what it has to be. We'll temporarily mount those other bunks once we get them cut to size. Now, 78 inches, and if you're wondering why I want to mount them exactly to the old um, distance, it's because I don't have any leeway on that particular trailer. I can't move those bunk brackets forward or back, so they're going to have to be exactly where they're at now. So we're going to play around a little bit, and um, I'll get pretty close as far as placement, but I'll show you exactly how I'm going to do this so that they're uh, exactly where they need to be, if that makes sense. All right, so I've got the brackets off the old ones, and we've got the new wood, but let me explain to you exactly what I'm doing. I'll show you what I've got here. Hopefully we can see this. This is the old one. The measurements between the brackets are, they vary between 78 and an eighth and 78 and a quarter. Had eight inches off the end from the bracket, eight inches off the end. Since I want to go longer on the front and the back, um, I did some math and I added six inches for the front, five inches for the back. That gives me an overall length of 108 and I just rounded it up actually 108 inches. What we're going to do is go 13 inches from the back, 78 and an eighth, and then whatever's left over in the front after that, that should be about it. Should be about six inches, but uh, I'm not too worried about that. It's the back. I, what I found was both of the bunks that I took off, they were asymmetrical. So the backs were probably about an inch and a half off of one from each other, um, which is kind of, I guess, crappy manufacturing. Anyway, um, Here's one of the 2x6s by 10, and I'm going to cut it to 108 inches. That's the new one. The old one was 96 inches. Now, if you'll notice, it's got a warp in the front, and I'm okay with that, actually, because 108 inches is going to be right here. It's probably going to fit the curve of the boat, or at least be very close, and I'm fine with that. Um, actually, it's kind of like an added bonus, to be honest with you. But one of the things um, that I've got to make sure is that this faces up, and uh, not only will it 
hopefully fit to cover the boat, but it'll also help guide the boat on, um, keep it from going too far to one side or the other. So I'm okay. Both pieces warped um, over time. I actually bought them about six months ago, kind of a little bit ahead of myself, but uh, that's an unexpected bonus. That's what I'll call it at least. All right, so I showed you the plan, and I'm going to go ahead and cut these down 108 inches and uh, start placing the uh, brackets. Just a quick note, I've got the curve side down, and the reason for that is the brackets go on this side. That'll ensure that the curves come up to hug the bow of the boat. So if you remember, what I showed you on this diagram is 108 inches long. These will be marked as the back, and I'm going to place these brackets in first before I do anything else. Um, they're going to be 13 inches from the back. And that should give me uh, five inches more space in the rear uh, to set the boat back. All right, so what I've done is I've marked an inch in, and um, this is 13 inches from the back, and this thing will center perfectly. Uh, along that line, so that's good. I'm going to mount these and I'm going to use 3 8 by one and a half inch bolts to get these mounted and then what we're going to do spider, is uh, go to the boat. I'm going to go underneath the boat get these mounted on the rear and temporarily mount the front. I just want the distance from the front to the back to be perfect. I, I know I've got it measured as a 78 and an eighth, but it's just easier to, and more accurate, I think, to do it underneath the boat. So let me, get, let me go ahead and get these mounted. One thing about this trailer is that you can't move the crossbars. They are where they're at. So what we need to do is when we put these new bunks in, uh, we need to make sure that the distances between the brackets are exactly the same as they were in the old ones. And to do that, I'm going to take measurements, of course, but to do that, I'm going to install the rear bracket on the bunk board. Then we're going to put these boards underneath the boat on the brackets with no carpeting or anything install the front bracket and that way they'll be perfectly aligned to where they sit on the um, crossbars. Alright, so what I'm doing here is I'm actually going to put this mount on and then we're going to put the bunks over this, mount the bunks to the mount. And the reason I'm doing it this way is so that the distance between the front bracket and the back bracket is exactly, uh, is hit exactly. So let me go ahead and get this bracket on and this is basically just temporary all right it's not super tight here's where it gets interesting we're gonna grab that bunk and slide it in here test fitting it uh, this is just to get this the right distance from back there oh it's really all it's for I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on putting on bunk carpeting we're gonna buzz right through that we're gonna get these bunks installed and once they're installed what we're going to do is start lowering the boat so we've managed to put the bunks on um, they're not tightened up all the way 
we're going to do is slowly drop the boat now and uh, once we get enough of the boat weight on the bunk so that the angles are right we're going to finish tightening them up so let's go ahead and do that so what we're going to do is the reverse of what we did when we put these on blocks uh, first thing we're going to do is get the front blocks off Ready? Yep. Bunks are pretty, but here's how we get it off the back. Oh, that worked. Remember the trick about using the jack? You want me to take them out? Yes. All right. Here's some views of the bunks as they sit from front to back. Now they're a little they're a little bit longer in the front, which is fine. I think that'll help when we're trying to put the boat on the trailer. And they're longer in the back, which should help lift the back of the boat up as you go into the water uh, a lot sooner than what it would be since the boat's sitting further back. And as you can see, uh, they're not quite lined up, but they're pretty close. I would say within an inch of the uh, the rear of the transom. So hopefully they're, they're picking up the majority of the weight. I haven't measured the length of the bunks from the bracket to the back but uh, probably about 16 inches so probably would have been about 11 inches before we did this um, hopefully everything will sit fine and uh, we'll get a good uh, get a good launch and retrieval on our first attempt now one of the things I had great concern about was the tongue weight moving the boat back five inches which is ultimately what we ended up doing should decrease the tongue weight we just don't know by how much now I did weigh the tongue weight before we started there was 265 and I can show you where it's at now that it's complete so as you can see it's sitting at 230 we lost 35 pounds of tongue weight um, I think the tongue may have been somewhat heavy to start with so I think this may work out pretty good so hopefully the tongue weight of 235 will be sufficient to tow this boat correctly and we'll find out once we get it out which shouldn't be too long um, a few more minor things and We'll take this boat down to the lake and uh, do some uh, trial runs on everything that we've done to her. I hope this video has been helpful to you. If it has, hit share and like. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button. And definitely leave some comments. Let me know what you would have done differently, if anything. Uh, um, I've always got room for improvement, and I appreciate the feedback. Thanks for watching.